Hey ladies and gents and welcome back. So today we are going to do another review for you. Uh, we have a pair of boots by Ariat, the uh, 224 collection, and it is a pair of the Highland boots. For those who are not familiar with Ariat, uh, Ariat is, especially down here in Tennessee, this is a very uh, rural equestrian based state and we see a lot of areas. Now, most of the areas that we actually see are uh, kind of rubber sole because we got a lot of guys and they wear them on their farm and they're, that's what they're made for. Their heritage is in equestrian and it's in farms and livestock and all that. So, but the 224 is kind of capitalizing that and creating kind of a style-based boot and kind of an all-American work boot. That's what this is. Let's crack it open. Now, this isn't exactly what the, uh, the typical unboxing looks like. It's a little messy because I had to see what it looked like, so I kind of messed that up. Um, give Trent one. I'll grab one and get this box out of the way. All right, my initial thoughts right out of the box uh, before we crack these open and dive into them a little bit deeper is I'm really impressed with them. Uh, we get sent a lot of these heritage types of boots. Um, well, when I say sent to us, we get some sent to us. We have a lot of customers bringing in different brands. So, you know, Red Wing, Wolverine, Chippewa, Thursday, you name it. There's a lot of companies that are doing that heritage line of boot. And I'm really impressed with this one. Uh, just the quality of the uppers. Uh, the, soft. Yeah. Very comfortable. Super soft. Very nice. I'm quite impressed. Your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are straight comfort right now. Um, as you can see, they came with two different types of laces. They come with a rawhide lace and then they come with a wax flat lace. Uh, they come with these. I put these in them. Uh, they came in the box just to give you a, an idea of what they both look like. And as you can see, this is very soft, supple bison hide and it's unlined. So it's, you know, it's, it's just, gosh, it's just so milled. I slipped my foot into it. And one of the first things I did notice about this was that it really supports my arch. It really feels like it's hugging the arch and um, it's got pour on footbed. So you've automatically got that sinking in and conform to your foot plus the arch support. And then um, we'll see what the what the inside of these looks like. But um, yeah, the uppers, it's a new buck. This one is, I mean, they've got them in, you know, smooth leathers, pebbled leathers, but this one is a new buck. And um, gosh, it's very comfortable. All right, so give us a moment. We're going to take these apart and we'll be right back. All right, gents, so we've taken apart the boot. Uh, we're going to go over uh, the pieces with you and let you know our thoughts after having broken it down. First, the top lift. Um, it is a combination rubber leather and um, it is an actual stack leather hill block. I do like this and um, that's pretty that's pretty light for a vegetable tan, but that's good. Yeah. So the one thing that we did notice right off the bat when taking them apart was the top lift was just glued on very lightly to the hill block. Uh, now, a lot of manufacturers are doing that. It's yes. nothing It's nothing out of the ordinary. Allen Edmonds, many other brands uh, are just gluing it on. So uh, one of the things that I kind of like on shoes and boots is when the manufacturer just puts a couple of little nails or, or tacks in there just to give it a little bit more bite uh, instead of just gluing it. Yep. Just throwing that out there. Repairability, the hill blocks came off really clean and uh, really easy. It had, it had seven nails actually going from the inside up into the block. And uh, so it was on there firm, but when I was able to get my prior in there, it came off very easily. So that's good, because you're gonna be able to reuse your block again. Yeah. Um, soles? Soles, one of the initial thoughts that I had as soon as I took them out of the box was, I like the fact that it has a 360 degree well. Um, I like that a lot. It definitely makes repairability easy. Uh, it, uh, structurally, it's also uh, strong. I like that. But one of the things that perhaps I would have requested manufacturer do, and again, we see this on other, all, the time. all the time from other manufacturers, is they didn't really trench out the bottoms of the soles. Um, it, it's like they stitched it, didn't put a deep trench in it. So you're going to wear through those stitches very quickly. Um, unless that is trenched a little deeper. And that's not necessarily a new age thing where manufacturers are doing that to just to try to go cheap because I've actually seen vintage, old school, um, handmade shoes that they do that on top. But you, know, you just gotta know that you're gonna wear through those stitches a lot quicker if versus you know putting a trench for them to lay down into. But that, that's one thing. One thing on the, on the inside, and you see there's some cork 
uh, stuck in there is the midsole. It's kind of like a crepe, but it's it's a little harder than just a typical um, crepe, and it kind of adds that that waterproof barrier in there. So I actually did like that. It's a little bit harder and keeps the the, um, the shape of the sole really well. well. One little thing about this leather, this is a butyl uh, sole leather. So if, if you're not familiar with that, basically what it is, is just kind of oil infused leather. And uh, you get that on a, on a lot of, you know, these kind of heritage style boots. It's really good for, you know, if you're walking on moist areas and once again, back to its heritage, uh, equestrian and um, farm life, I guess you could kind of say, but not this style, but uh, um, area in, in general, but it is a beautiful leather sole, so that was good. So as far as the insides, what I liked a lot was just the unfinished leather. Again, it was super soft to the touch. I mean, basically no break-in period. Um, it is just extremely soft leather. Uh, the liner on the inside, uh, has a really thick pour on to it, mm. a leather uh, leather liner, and just super soft. Um, now, if this were a Blake stitched boot, I would not like that at all because when you try to stitch it, it would just make a mess of that liner. But because this is a 360 degree welt shoe, you're not gonna have to mess with that liner at all. And again, just super soft right out of the box. Very, very nice touch. The insole, is it's not shoulder leather or it's not you know real leather it is an insole board which is kind of like a pressed pulp paperish type of stuff um now you see this a lot on mass produced shoes it's got its pluses it's got its minuses one of the plus or several of the pluses is the break-in time is not very long at all it is very lightweight as well so that's another one it doesn't last as long as leather insole but you know, that's just kind of, you gotta measure, do I want to break in, do I want the lightweight, or, you know, is it gonna, but for the price point, yeah. this is right on key for what the price point is, and, um, you, you know, you see other ones. And it's made in America, so for what you're getting and made in America, it's kind of right there. It does, I, I tried to scrape down in here, and you can see I've tried to scrape down to try to find the shank, but it is sandwiched in between these layers. It's got a little piece of uh, fabric that's glued down over it as a top coat. I think it's fiberglass. I think it's fiberglass, but I couldn't scrape down to get to it. It was it's a little black thing down there and who knows, maybe it is, but my guess is probably fiberglass. The eyelets, and those things are really riveted on there really good. I don't see those things coming off. Yep. Oh, made boot. Yeah. The, it's leather. So the- uh, A leather well. Leather well. Yep. I liked most of the collection from 224. Uh, I hadn't heard a lot about them until I started looking into them and then we got some boots from them. Um, again, they have a ladies line, they have a men's line, they have some sneakers, they have a lot of the heritage type boots, they have some Chelsea's. So definitely check them out. Again, what's really impressed me is the fact that they are made in America. Uh, they come in to a price point right under $300. And some of them are on sale even now for around, you know, low 100. So uh, you can find some great prices on their boots. Overall, I'm extremely impressed. Um, right out of the box, great quality boot, great materials as a whole, great build quality. Um, I can't I like wait them. to get them back together so I can start wearing them. And I'll probably do a follow up because just because I slipped my foot into it and it felt comfortable right then, when you start to walk in them, that's what's really gonna, you know, tell the difference. So maybe we'll end a year from now or something, we'll, six months, we'll do a follow up and see how did they, how did they wear. So uh, yeah, I like them. All right guys, so I hope that helped. Uh, we're gonna put a link down to Area 224 down below. Definitely go down there, check them out. See if you find any boots or shoes that you like. Uh, again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell because we have a lot more of these review videos coming. Again, until next time, have a great day.